Hello everyone, welcome to Chapsoy Channel NYC. Today our topic is about nature. Nature is our greatest medicine cabinet. Today it has provided us humans with countless of life-saving medicines from aspirin to morphine to numerous cancer and HIV fighting drugs. There is no question that additional important medications perhaps even miracle cures lie on top in the worlds of ecosystems. In fact, researchers estimate that less than 1% of the world known species have been fully examined for their medical or medicinal value. However, ecosystems that have yielded some of the world's most important and promising drugs such as rainforests, peat swamps, and coral reefs are also among the most endangered. Preserving ecosystem and species today may benefit or even save millions of lives tomorrow. Nature contributes to human well-being in many ways and the services it provides. Recent research has found that nature lovers have long expected spending time in a green space such as a park provides benefits for one's mental and physical health. Exercising in a park instead of inside a gym has shown to provide mental health benefit as a great sense of well-being. Walking for 20 minutes in a green space has been proven to help children with ADHD improve their concentration, even working as well or better than medication. People who live in more natural settings have better overall health, even when research has taken into account economic differences. Nature is in trouble and its plight will probably become even more precarious unless we do something about it. According to Wikipedia, the word nature is derived from the Latin word natura or essential qualities in name, disposition, and in ancient times literally meant breath. In ancient philosophy, natura is mostly used as the Latin translation of the Greek word pieces, which originally related to the intrinsic characteristic that plants animals and other features of the world develop of their own accord. The development of technology by the human race has allowed the greater exploitation of natural resources and has helped to alleviate some of the risks from natural hazards. In spite of this progress, however, the fate of human civilization remains closely linked to changes in the environment. There exists a highly complex feedback loop between the use of advanced technology and changes to the environment that are the only slowly becoming understood. Man-made threats to the earth natural environment include pollution, deforestation, and disasters such as oil spills. Humans have contributed to the extinction of many plants and animals. On average, global populations of mammals, birds, fish, amphibians, and reptiles plunged by 68% between 1970 and 2016, according to the WWF and Zoology Society of London Biennial Living Planet Report 2020. Two years ago, the figure stood at 60%. The research is one of the most comprehensive assessment of global biodiversity available and was complied by 134 experts from around the world. It found that from the rainforests of Central America to the Pacific Ocean, Nature is being exploited and destroyed by humans on a scale never previously recorded. To protect our environment, save electricity, 
recycle plastic and avoid using it stop cutting the trees save water stop loitering stop polluting our ocean river and lakes avoid over consumerism avoid using chemicals pesticide that is hazardous to the natural habitats avoid eating too much animal meat plant more trees if we don't protect our environment we are jeopardizing the near future of human race existence Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe in my channel. Thank you.